In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Bootstrap icons. So let's get started by downloading the project from the home page download button. And let's unzip it as usual. And I'm just going to grab this distribution folder and the fonts folder and make myself a project folder and paste stuff in here and make myself index. So I'm just going to open the whole project in Sublime and the index. I'm just going to add the bare bone. So here we have everything in the distribution folder. So I'm just going to take them all out and put it in the root. So here we have everything in the distribution folder. And here are all the compiled CSS. So let's get started by first linking to Bootstrap. So I'm just going to start with the link, distribution, CSS, and bootstrap.css. Now, if you go to the documentation in the components section, you'll see a section on glyph icons. Basically, you can use these class names to create icons in your components. So let's say we want to add an icon, restaurant icon to our H1 tag. So here, I'm just going to make a H1 and give it class glyph icon. And I'm just gonna give it two classes. The first one glyph icon, which is this is going to be a glyph. And here it specifies what it's going to be. So you can just put your text and it's going to render. Now we need to test that and see if the paths the paths are set correctly. So it's set correctly and as you can see it's rendered just fine. Now these are scalable so I can give it let's say you know a random class let's say big. So basically I'm going to use this class in our own uh, custom CSS let's say let's call it main.css and we're just going to give it a very huge font size so that we can see that they can actually scale. So here in the CSS folder, I'm just going to make myself main.css and open it right here. So the class name is big and we're just going to get a very big font size, let's say 20 amps. So now when you refresh, everything is scaled and this is very clear so you can make it even bigger. So as you can see, these are all scaled and ready to go. So now you can change this name. So if you want to, for example, switch it, you can just give it this class. So here, I'm just going to change the second glyph. And now if I refresh, I should get that new icon. So as simple as that. Let's quickly build uh, navigation with icons next to them. So we're going to have an order on order list in which we're going to have, let's say, five lists. So the first one is going to be, you know, about home, second one's going to be home, you know, like a navigation. And I'm just going to give it anchor tags just for fun. So that's the anchor tag. There we go. And we're not going to link to anything. So the first one, let's say, is home. The other one is contact and etc. etc. I don't know. Let's give it the last one. Let's say other. So all of these gonna have a class. So I'm just gonna select the column and let's say class. All of them are gonna be glyph icon. They are all gonna have glyph icon prefix. Now, here I'm just going to look for home. Perhaps there's a home icon. There we go. So give it the first one, home. Uh, I don't know what, maybe for the about we'll give info sign. So info sign. For about, maybe we can, I don't know, pick this one. Question sign. Question sign. And for other, I have no idea. Let's just put this one. No, let's put this one. Tower. Okay, let's put tower in here. 
Let's quickly preview and see if we have anything. Good, so we got something going. And I'm just gonna inline them and give them some margins. So let's give this guy class our nav. And here we're gonna just target our nav. So our nav, all the allies in there, everything is gonna be in line and they're gonna have a margin, right? Let's say, let's say, you know, 10 pixels. And we don't want the last one to have any margin, so let's get rid of that. Just like that, margin, right, zero. So now all of these should be in line, good. Just to check and see if they have, the last one has a right margin, I'm just curious. So this is the last one, so this shouldn't have a right margin, but the other one should. So that looks good. So you see this one, the right margin is zero. So you can you can be creative here. So our nav LIA font size. 25 pixels. Okay, that's good. Let's get rid of Okay, that's that's good. Yeah, so good. We have a navigation. So now we could put that in Let's get rid of all this and let's put it in the container just to center the page. But it's maybe we should give it a text center so we can center the whole thing. Good. So we have our na navigation and with the icons. So this was just an example that I thought maybe gave you some idea of the things you can do. So I hope this was useful and I'll see you in the next video.